Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Tuesday the 10th of November. The local media headlines today. Concern over the health and safety culture at Cormac, wholly owned by Cornwall Council, has now reached a tipping point where there is a majority of councillors in favour of an independent external inquiry. This is notwithstanding improvements which might have been made two years ago, it's the council's part in the cover-up of a serious accident four years ago which is fueling what's become known as Cormac Gate. It's just the sort of messy issue you want in the run-up to next year's council elections. Now it's never too late to catch up with really important old news and several media finally got round to reporting the closure of Newquay Airport. The Falmouth Packet observed that Covid-19 restrictions now made flying all but impossible. The airport will remain closed until mid-December. Pirate FM warned us that County Hall is about to produce some keep fit videos to keep us amused during lockdown. The BBC reported concern about sewage in the seas. The Cornish Times noted the efforts of Liscard Young Farmers to raise funds. The Buden Stratton Post said this year's Christmas Day swim will not be going ahead. And finally, Cornwall Live had some photos of abandoned cars. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.